Hello, everybody. It is Renee, and I am here with Dee today. Um, we have a chicken, chicken, chicken show for you. So uh, Dee did a, a uh, poll not too long ago, and what we discovered is people still need chicken dishes, which is hard to believe. <laughs> But anyway, folks, um, we are excited to be here today. And um, things to to know is jump on here, give us a hashtag live, and tell us where you are from. And um, as always, you know, hit hit all the buttons, hit all the. Uh, we're not allowed to use the sh. A R E word any longer that we're not allowed to use the S H word any longer. Okay, you guys. Um, but Facebook, Facebook does mean things to us if if we use that word. So what I want you to do is hit the sparkle button, which is the same as the other button, and send this out there to everybody. And D, hello, how are you today? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. So um, I'm down here in our Palm Desert location. Um, for all of you fabulous snowbirds, I want to see you in the clinic this winter. I am actually going to be working from the clinic this year. So um, looking forward to seeing everybody uh, here in Palm Desert, California, as you make your way from Canada and back east. Um, okay, so Dee, um, tell us, tell us uh, what's going on in the hat. <laughs> it's cold. Winter's trying to come, except uh, then by Friday, we're supposed to be back up in the 60s, and then we're going to drop back down into the, the misery. So it's gray and windy and cold here today. So it's a great day to be working on recipes in the kitchen. Oh, well, that's, that's not bad then. Sounds, sounds okay to me. <laughs> um, so tell us a little bit, while I'm, I'm doing some technical work back here, tell everybody a little bit about um, your super weekend and uh, what you, what uh, kind of some of the stuff that you experienced this last weekend up in Vancouver. Yes, I traveled to Vancouver this weekend for our super weekend training. So it's always good to go and have a refresher on um, protocol and coaching and learning new things. But the best part of it is collaborating with other coaches and clinic owners. And I had the most wonderful experience Um I will not remember everybody's name right now while I'm under pressure, but you know, very often we talk online um, with fellow coaches and clinics and, and clients, and it was a real treat to meet them in person. And so, you know, I met Charlene and Carmen and Bev and Mia and Nancy and, and the list goes on. So sometimes people that were not in contact directly and it was just such an amazing um, time of fellowship and just to connect with these wonderful people that um, we meet online. Had some um, time in the evening to connect with um, so many people, even uh, Mike Seattle. Um, it was it was really awesome. So it was a great weekend. Mm -hmm. Well, that is. Awesome. And um, Facebook is not showing me my pictures. So I'm going to have to undo myself. And D, you can start the coaching portion of the show. We'll be okay. back with the recipes in just a few minutes. <laughs> okay. So, so this week um, we did all about um, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So last week, or maybe even more than that now, I put a poll online asking you all where you still needed the most help with recipes. Was it chicken? Was it beef? Was it fish? Was it seafood? Was it vegetarian? And um, chicken was the resounding winner still. So I actually thought that that was um, really quite interesting. So today's show is all about really fast 
fast and easy chicken dishes. So chicken breasts are one of those amazing things that you can just pop on a baking sheet on some parchment paper, um, bake them ahead of time, and then have them ready to go to turn into some really, really wonderful recipes. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about chicken. And then at the end of the show, my, a picture might be coming up right now. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, man. Face, Facebook is being mean to me today. <laughs> That's okay. Woo, there, we go. there we go. <laughs> All right. So before we do that, let's say hi to a few people. Give us your hashtag live. Um, Annette is from Okie Dokes. I love that name, Annette, and I love all those. Are those diamonds on there? Oh, the diamonds are a girl's best friend. Those are awesome. And uh, we got uh, Stan from Rose Town. I'm assuming that's Saskatchewan. Great to have met you, D, in Vancouver last week, and awesome. It it is in Rose Town, and I had the pleasure of having a little visit with Stan in the evening. It was oh, wonderful cool. to meet him. So that's awesome. And yeah. our our friend Sandy from uh, Graham, Washington, M is here, and uh, Rose, and my favorite name, Agaliki. Love that. Um, okay, you guys, let's talk chicken. So this is uh, balsamic chicken and peppers. So really, really simple ingredients, really quick to make. So I was just explaining about if you um, have some chicken breast baked up, you can create some amazingly quick and tasty dishes. And so that is what I have done today. So this was basically leftover chicken breast, sliced, and then the only fresh veggie, other than the onion garnish, is colored peppers and all the magic happens in a really simple um, balsamic dressing. Now, for you IP people out there, you already have an ideal protein bottled balsamic dressing. Um, it is awesome, two tablespoons is a serving, so it is a general, uh, generous serving size um, for a dressing, but you can bulk it up even further with a little Bragg soy aminos, apple cider vinegar, a little Dijon mustard, some fresh garlic, salt, and pepper, and bam, you have a beautiful dish in minutes flat. It literally, you can have a steaming, huge plate of food in under 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I love that you said um, that, uh, by the way, whenever I'm looking down, I'm just doing some work over here, but trying okay. to send the show out to lots and lots of people. Um, say hi to Joelle and uh, uh, ladies, I see my coach. Did you meet Joelle's coach? I did. I actually have a picture of us on our low carb cooking page. Um, and let me tell you, Joelle's coach is just, she is a sweetheart and she just welcomes you in. She just has, she has good aura, everybody. She just has really good personal space. She's just a lovely lady. That's awesome. Yay. Um, okay. So when, what I liked about this, though, is that you talked about um, the fact that um, these things are like you can just use your leftovers. And, yeah. and you know, sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I get a rotisserie chicken only from Whole, Whole Foods because, you know, a lot of places, you know, inject brine into them. So you, you want to be really careful. No Costco chickens, folks. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll just cut the breast meat off. I'll give my family the dark meat and, uh, you know, obviously take the skin off, which, of course, is the best part. But um, anyway, <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> oh, good. Um, so uh, yeah, so I and and making up quick dishes because because that's that's important and you know especially as we are a lot of us working moms. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so give us your hashtag live. Tell us where you're from. Uh, tell us your nugget of wisdom as we are um, going through here. So give us your hashtag live, your nugget of wisdom. And if you are not receiving our weekly newsletter, um, you know, uh, all you have to do is type the word newsletter and uh, you'll get the weekly recipes on Mondays. 
So Dee figured out how to make a chicken pot pie. Can you believe that? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> and I'm going to give you a few different ideas on how that you can execute um, this at home as well. Um, so in this version, I used the potato puree as my pie crust and I used the chicken a la king um, as a gravy for my vegetables inside that pie. Um, really simple, you can do your choice of veggies. The kind of neat thing about the chicken a la king is that, you know, um, I'm gonna make a little joke here to you guys, you know that one little pea or piece of corn that's floating around in there is um, those colors can be a little <laughs> bit <laughs> inviting and, and make it feel like a more traditional um, pot pie, um, but I chose a lot. I chose celery and mushrooms as my uh, main filler in my pot pie, and it worked really well. It was really good. <laughs> your, your one piece of corn in the uh, chicken a la king. I, I have a lot of clients who come in every week. Man, they love their chicken a la king. Uh, in in it's a, a heartier kind of soup. Um, so especially as we go into winter time and, and wanting something warm and hearty and, and I love this. So, um, now wait, I, I missed it cause I was like sending the show out to people. Um, what's on top? Is that, what's the crust? The potato puree. Oh, so is there two packets in here? Yep. yep. Oh, okay. But what, but what you see in the picture is only half a serving. So okay. it still makes a lot of food. Okay, mm -hmm. so now um, can you like keep it for the next day or do you need to eat it all in one day? You could eat both halves in one day. They're both unrestricted. There are no unallowable ingredients in the recipe. And so you could surely have it, um, um, have both servings or it will very easily keep in your fridge for the next day. So I'm not a microwaver. Do you just heat this up in the oven? You sure can. I just yeah. left it. Yeah. I, my recommendation is just to leave the portion that you don't eat in the baking dish and then you can reheat it that way. Yeah. Or if you have yeah. a little toaster oven or anything like that, um, they that works fantastic. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, M says um, that she loves chicken. She has not tried the balsamic dressing, but we'll grab it next time. We sell out of that balsamic dressing. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's delicious, and you know you get a fair amount of serving. June says she loves chicken. Love chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Ever, awesome. Most people love chicken. Um, let's talk a little bit as we're as we're talking about chicken. Um, I like to always eat organic and um, just really knowing that, you know, the long term of our health depends on eating uh, good for us foods. And so just um, really being aware that eating organic and having antibiotic free chicken and, you know, pasture grown chickens, um, grain free, I don't know, or, or good grain chickens um, is really, really important and, and valuable for our long term health. So um, that's just my little sideline there. Um, okay, so June says winner, winner. And um, Sandy says uh, chicken pot pie is the ultimate comfort food, mm -hmm. which is 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 true. Uh, Mike says yum, and he wonders if you could make samosas. <laughs> Do you know what samosas are? Samosas are the samosas are uh, an an Indian. Um, uh, they're kind of like little. They're almost like um, Indian raviolis, but I think they deep fry them, so you wouldn't want to deep fry them. But maybe you could like air fry them, and then they have like you uh, use like a chutney. So you could probably make like a you you make chutneys, don't you? Yeah. Have you made a yeah, chutney? We have, yeah. We have IP friendly chutney for sure. Right, right. So you would mm -hmm. you would have them with chutney. Okay. Um, which is is amazing. You know, next time we're together, we'll go do Indian food. That's like one of my absolute favorites. That's awesome. <laughs> it's on <Okay>. the list. <laughs> 
So we've got some chicken fried rice here. One of my, again, one of my favorites is, is really recreating amazing dishes that we love. Right. And this one is back to that leftover chicken. And um, I know you've all seen in your local grocery store and all you Trader Joe fans out there, I know that you can buy cauliflower rice pre-bagged almost anywhere now. Um, yeah. It's a real thing and it's an easy thing to keep on hand. I'm always a fan of grating my own head of cauliflower. I don't know why. I think it's a control thing. Just call me weird. Um, but for super fast, you know you're going to have a busy week. You know that you wanna, you're want to. you going to get home and you're going to be hungry, but you still want to feed yourself and your family really fast, good dinners. Here is one for you. You can have a bag of cauliflower rice. You can have containers of celery, green onions, things like that, pre-diced, ready to go um, in your fridge. You can even buy those in a, in a lot of grocery stores as well. And so chopped up leftover chicken, uh, your eggs quickly scrambled in a pan, Add your veggies, add your chicken, throw in your cauliflowered rice for the finish. And again, seasoning, simple garlic, salt and pepper, brag soy aminos, and you have a full plate full of food. You can easily control um, the amount of veggies and how you want to break that up. So whether you want, you know, a lot of color in there, maybe some green peppers as well to replace the peas in traditional um, fried rice chicken fried rice, um, as my kids would say. And again, minutes and minutes, fast and easy. And then you know what, if somebody in your house um, wants rice, well, then they can have rice, but then you can have the same kind of dish. Um, so fast, so, so simple and so tasty. And so one of the real big things that I want to hit here on again is that good food does not need to take hours to make. Maybe on some evenings you are going to spend more time doing some prep and planning, or maybe you're going to make a roast or, you know, a, a, you know, a roast your own chicken or things like that. But there is nothing wrong with fast, simple, easy meals. They should all be on your weekly plan and um, preparing menu. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it, it, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, again, if you um, are on here live, give us a hashtag live, tell us where you're from, and um, all of you know that, um, you know, if you want these recipes, they're coming out on Monday, and they're in our newsletter, so all you have to do is type the word newsletter and uh, subscribe to our newsletter, and you will get those every Monday. Mm -hmm. um, they're also posted on our recipe blog at dsrecipes.com, which is where you can also get the dinner book um, and download that. So, D, this pad thai looks amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love pad thai. I love shrimp pad thai. I love chicken pad thai. I love, maybe I'm just going to eat the pad thai <laughs> without any <laughs> protein. <laughs> um, so once again, um, I should have saved the packet. I am kind of, um, I kind of zapped out here a couple times because there's a couple things I really wanted to show you. So Renee, talk about pad thai for two seconds. <laughs> Okay, well, pad thai is one of those things that is really, um, it, it's, a, it's a super like high calorie, high carb dish when you buy it at, you know, when you go to your favorite Thai restaurant. But I love that Dee has recreated all of these dishes in a way that we can have those favorite things at home because, mm -hmm. um, and, and you know, you can spice it up, heat it up any way you like. I mean, sometimes I've been to the Thai restaurant, they practically burn my lips off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Chili, gar chili garlic paste is amazing and it does not have any carbs in it. And yeah. you can get it in virtually almost any grocery store. And it is almost like, it's like a secret weapon ingredient. It can be a game changer in so many foods. Um, but one thing that I did want to talk about as we're talking about Pad Thai, is that I actually have um, these. So th these ones are. Oh, the Konjac. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Guys, oh, those are penne. Oh, that, like penne yeah, pasta. But, yeah, but it was, they actually have the pad thai now, which you see oh. in the picture. Nice. Yeah. So I wanted to show you all this. 
Um, please, if you are on, can we get that? And can we see? We got it, we got it. Anywho, um, don't, I mean, always speak to your coach in your clinic first. These, these have been approved, but you do have to respect serving size. But if you want to add them to your recipes, um, then you can. And this is my, I'm not trying to sell brands here. We don't get any kickback or anything like that. This is just something <laughs> that I personally use because this is the, this is the brand um, that, I, that I like the best. I find them the easiest um, to work with. So those are the actual pad thai noodles that you see in this recipe. And then once again, cilantro, bean sprouts, green onion. Uh, we've got the garlic chili paste, some brag soy aminos, fresh lime juice. Uh, we omit any types of fish oils. Um, when you are in maintenance, you may add them in your phase one. We're just going to use our regular. Now, you can buy infused olive oils that have a plethora of flavoring um, to them. We're welcome to use those in these types of recipes, the ones that are just in, um, infused with herbs and seasonings. Um, a great choice um, for recipes like this as well. And um, yeah, garnish with some, some a squeeze of fresh lime and away you go. And once again, huge plate of food in Minutes, guys. Minutes, minutes, yes. minutes. Mm -hmm. So there's you. Obviously, you can tell there's a theme happening this week. <laughs> I, I I like the theme, and uh, you know our our theme shows are always the most popular anyway because uh, people really you know dig that. So I think that's awesome. Um, okay, uh, Annette wants to know where did you find that brand. Um, same way, same way with Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually carry these in our clinic, um, in our, so I work at a PharmaSafe in Alberta. Um, and so we have a low carb grocery section, um, in our, in our PharmaSafe. Um, so our, our ladies in the back order them for us actually. So I will find out, um, where they do their ordering from. And let you know. I do know that they are on. So if you Google Low Carb Canada or Low Carb USA, you will be able to find them online. And then um, I know I do know that they are there. Um, you might even find them on Amazon. I'm I'm positive. What, uh, what brand is it? It is the actual um, organic Conjac brand. So it's it's not like a oh, specific. Better, so better than pasta. Better than pasta. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go, guys. Better than pasta. So maybe uh, maybe it's on uh, Amazon or something. We can it we can do a little yeah. research. We want to say mm -hmm. uh, hello to Jag. I think that's such a cool name, Jag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If if you are on here live, give us a hashtag live. Tell us where you're from. And um, by the way, you know that my last picture is almost, it, only if I'm organized, but my last picture is always my favorite picture. So I thought these looked so cool and delicious. And they're chicken and egg muffins. Mm -hmm. So, you know, which came first, chicken or the egg? Egg or the chicken? <laughs> well... Who cares? We'll throw them together and put them in a muffin. <laughs> yeah, ask uh, Adam and Eve. <laughs> right. Um, so I am a huge, huge fan of um, supper for breakfast, supper for lunch, supper at any time of the day. And um, if you know me, you also know that I'm a huge fan of splitting up your protein throughout the day if you need to. Um, it is... Um, so very important that especially if you're doing, if you are on protocol, that you get everything in that you're supposed to during the day. And sometimes we have clients that say, well, I just, I can't eat that much food at supper. And so the great news is that we can split it out throughout the day. And so this recipe uses only four ounces of protein and two cups of vegetables. Um, it's also great if you have hungry clients. Um, that say, you know what, I, I need more. So here is a great way. So the recipe made three big full-size muffins and 
It is cauliflower and spinach is your main two cups of vegetables. It has two beaten eggs and one ounce of chicken. So two large eggs is three ounces of protein, one ounce of leftover chopped up chicken, fresh garlic, salt and pepper, um, cauliflower, Riced cauliflower, fresh spinach, and a little bit of onion garnish for the top, just because I like that little bit of extra flavor. You whisk it all up. You pop them in your liners in the oven, 375, 25, 30 minutes. Voila, done. They will keep in the fridge. They are excellent choice for breakfast, lunch, or supper. It is so easy. So you can do a whole week of breakfasts. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm a person that loves breakfast for for dinner. In fact, mm -hmm. I would I will go to a 24 hour breakfast place and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, love, 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 love that. Mm -hmm. So um, before we get into our coaching, um, this cracked me up. So it's not Jag. It's Jeremy. And that's his initials. <laughs> Um, okay, so Joelle says that sometimes uh, the, the noodles are called miracle noodles, but I don't think those are konjac. I think those are no. shirataki noodles, yeah. right? Yeah, those are yeah. different. Yeah, a yeah, little bit different, but always, yeah. always, always watch the serving size. So um, today, um, one of the things that I put out on my uh, Renee's Inner Circle group, and if you don't belong to that group, join us over there. It's called Renee Lynn's Inner Circle. I'll put a little link down here. But um, we always are thinking about, you know, things that, that uh, might spark our thought processes. And uh, one of the things that I put out there this week was, what is your biggest win or what do you, you know, what, what was your, your, your win for the week so far? And, um, G, I think that that's something that people forget, um, in, in really, um, focusing on, you know, always focusing, focusing, focusing. And, you know, did I get my half a pound? Did I, did I this, did I that? Did I, you know, whatever, and, and feeling disappointed when they step on that scale and, you know, all of that. So um, let's talk about that for a minute is 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 understanding wins. Right. Um, I really it's kind of ironic that this is what you're talking about, because we <laughs> had this scenario, Andy, because we had this scenario in the coaching room today and it was about it's about numbers. We cannot, you can't, you can't put the value of your work just in numbers. Um, we have also posted some great um, graphics this week, shared some from other clinics that designed them on, on fat whooshes and weight loss whooshes and, and things that happen. So a better thing to focus on is, did, did you do your job? How, like, did you do your job this week? Did you, did you accomplish the goals? Did you, did you follow your sheet? Did you get it all in? Were you honest with yourself? Um, because one thing that sometimes we forget about is that we go into the room and we're looking, um, I, I almost want to say like we're, we're looking to please our coach, but you really need to please yourself um, because your journey, um, it's your, it's your work. It's your, it's, it's, it's your wins. And you know what, if you followed and you know, you put the work in, that's a huge win. And you can't put the value that that value isn't equaled by a number. We um, really need to start keeping track of all the other wins that came along with it. So when you follow protocol, um, say you're on protocol and you're following and you execute it, how are you feeling? Are you feeling in control? Are you feeling empowered? Are you feeling restful? Do you have energy? Are you satisfied? Um, how's your confidence? Um, lots of things go with um there's a direct correlation when we're when we're doing about uh doing what we set out to accomplish and i know you've heard me say too that you know when we make a choice um to have something that's not a protocol when we are in protocol and then we come in and we say things like oh, I had a terrible week it kind of upsets me because <laughs> one choice that might not work with a protocol shouldn't make the rest of your life terrible for that whole week because I'm betting there was still amazing things that happened in your day every day. So we really need to 
start focusing on what our wins are. So, and the wins kind of go with the whys, what our whys are. And sometimes those change from day to day, um, what your goals are, what your focus is. And so, um, you know, a win is just getting healthier every day. So every day that you make better choices and you get closer to a healthier outcome, you're building a lifestyle. Um, you know, you're, we are not racehorses at the gate um, looking to have perfection in a minute. We're, we're not. And um, we need to slow down and we need to really, you know, um, and give yourself credit when good work is done. And you know what? If you have a day where you're like, well, almost there, tomorrow's going to be better, that's okay. It, it really is okay. And, and you know, one of the things that I have been working on is um, after I got back from a very um, over-the-top Cabo trip uh, back over on uh, October 7th, I um, was like, all right, done and done. And um, I'm a very social human. And uh, part of my socialness is glasses of champagne. And so I went cold turkey and uh, you know, I decided another thing I was going to do was I was not going to get on the scale and normally I would get on the scale every single morning and I would click my app and I would sync my app and then I would be, you know, oh gosh, I went up, oh now I'm down, okay, great. And then the minute I got down a little bit, I was feeling pretty good, what would I do? I would. I would screw it up. And so this time I just said, I am not doing that. I weighed myself last Tuesday. I did not even weigh myself this Tuesday. And I will tell you that on Sunday I was not perfect. And um, I, I, I have Lori's my accountability uh, partner. So I confessed to my accountability partner <laughs> as I was being imperfect. I sent her a text message. <laughs> So, um, you know, and then boom, got right back on track. And we cannot feel like just because there's a blip in the road that we, you know, we're a horrible person and, and we're beating ourselves up. And then what that ends up doing is then we start restricting things. And then what the restriction ends up doing is then we go off and binge on something. And, and it's this vicious circle all the time have to stop folks um so you know uh, great great subject and great advice and m says um <laughs> i've done terrible the past two weeks i'm back on it and my win this week is that i went down a size of my leggings sweet non-scale victory that's right um so you know, just just really um, understanding that there's more to this whole process. And if we're, you know, as Dee said, you know, uh, all in or all out and, and changing that behavior, um, when we can change that behavior, we're going to have so much better outcomes. We're going to feel more in control. And when we do decide to make a different choice, it's momentary. It's not for, you know, three days or three weeks or three months. It's a momentary, okay, I made that decision on Sunday morning at brunch and now it's, you know, dinner time and I'm back on my plan. Um, we're, this is a journey. It's, it's not, it's not perfect. So yes, love, love, love that. And uh, Jeremy shared that he bought his first pair of 34 waist slim fit jeans. I like that slim fit down from 40 relaxed and uh, down 80 pounds since the beginning of June. Whoa, guys that, you know, give uh, give a bunch of hearts and stars and everything else for Jeremy. That's very cool. Thank you for sharing with us. Um, so um, congratulations. Uh, on, yeah. Yeah. On your work. That's amazing. I know. I know. It's it's really incredible. And and I'm 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 very privileged to get to coach uh, quite a few clients that go past the 30, 40, 50, 60, 80. Um, and and I always I always feel like it's such an honor that I get to be on someone's journey and and to, uh, you know, because honestly, you know, they always tell me, oh, it was all you. I'm like, no, no, dude, you made the decision every minute of the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. You only saw me once a week. 
<laughs> so that's that's awesome. And again, celebrating that that you did it. You did it. And now now it is really that focus on a new lifestyle and never ever choosing to go back down that road again. And, and do we have moments of indulgence? Of course we do. We learn balance. Um, remember, when we lose massive amounts of weight, 40, 50, 80, 100 pounds, it takes you a year to, first of all, for your body to know you're 80 pounds less, but really for your mind to see you 80 pounds less. A lot of times, we're still seeing that same yeah, person yeah. in the mirror. And if we don't take the time to start seeing the new person, we eventually go back to the old person that we are visualizing. So really take the time, do your work. If you need to see somebody that will help you work through um, the mind game, the subconscious, um, and uh, read podcasts, go for walks, listen to stuff that's that's really good for you. Um, and so that's awesome, Jeremy. Um, Annette says her win was taking a flight and fitting in her seat with extra seatbelt left over. Isn't that awesome? I, I think that's uh, you, every time I have a customer tell me that, I'm just like, good for you. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it, it can't be fun to ask for the seatbelt extender. So love it. Love it. All right. Do you, do you have any last words for us? I have so many words all the time for you. But <laughs> <laughs> um, next week, I am going to give you some treat recipes, you guys. Um, so check out, check out a graphic that I shared um, today um, from my work on um, handling Halloween. Um, it is a day, guys. It's just one day um, of the week of every month. And um, although it's a really fun time for lots of little ghouls and goblins, um, it's just a regular day for us. So I want you to keep in mind um, that we have some suggestions on how to manage that day. And we might go over a few of those again because our show next week is the day before Halloween. So I'm going to give you some adult um, well, kid and adult friendly treats, okay, um, to help keep you on track. And um, if you have any requests, questions, or concerns, um, or need some help navigating um, such days. So in some places, Halloween is actually listed on as a holiday, just like Thanksgiving and Christmas. And um, so we need to um, be really mindful as we, of course, we know this, we are hit so hard um, with all the things that we celebrate over this season. Um, and so um, let's talk about it. And um, Renee has an accountability partner. And um, you know what? If you need to have somebody over at your house while you're handing out treats um, to keep you accountable, then do it if you need to give your bucket of candy to the neighbors to hand out and say yeah this is from the house next door they're just unavailable do it or you know what maybe you need to take this year off and just turn off your lights and go sit in the tub and read a book you're allowed to do that so <laughs> I love that yeah yeah sometimes sometimes we we do need to do stuff like that and and hmm. one of the things I'm gonna post over here um is uh, we do, uh, I have a, a blog, um, and um, I am going to post the link to our Halloween uh, blog so that you can get some ideas on uh, how to handle Halloween. And before we go, I do want to pop this up here. Um, Jeremy says he owes his wife, IP coach Charlene, at the Summerlin. <laughs> Uh, pharmacy for keeping him on track. I love it. I love that you listen to your wife. <laughs> so, Jeremy, I got to meet your fabulous wife this last weekend and have a one on one um, personal conversation with her um, at the Mix and Mingle on Saturday night. And she, as well, is a truly lovely, wonderful person. So, I will tell you that. Like, it's like, oh, so many good people there. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome when we get to interact with each other. Okay, everybody, thank you to all of our clinic partners. And um, 
D is uh, D just made her print order, so um, D's first set of books that are going to be printed will be out. There will not be for individual sale, but uh, clinics can order them. So request that your clinic orders a pack of D's books so that you can get one in the printed version. This is 150 recipes that encompass soups, salads, appetizers, side dishes, uh, protein, um, uh, veggies. So um, it's, it's 150 recipes in printed format. Tell your clinic, order up. <laughs> All they have to do is uh, send Dee a message and uh, we'll, we'll make that happen. All right, Dee, my friend, have a wonderful week. And uh, everybody, we will see you next week for uh, spooky goo, 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 whatever they are, ghosts and whatever's. <laughs> oh, uh, Mike, Mike says that we need a candy bouncer <laughs> at the door. That's right. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good one. Bye, everybody.